Hi Gemini's, Trishna here. Welcome to your August 2019 success and abundance reading. So what I'm feeling for you is I feel like you're actually doing pretty well. I know this past August we talked about, I think it was this past August in the earlier videos that I did this month, we talked about how you may have come to some kind of realization about yourself that hasn't been as pretty. Like maybe you haven't been as committed in relationships or you haven't been as committed to your goals or your purpose or to yourself or maybe you're more selfish or there was some kind of realization that you had that you became aware of about yourself and it wasn't necessarily the most positive kind of realization to have about yourself but you were feeling pretty good about working on it and you were seeing it as an opportunity or I hope you were seeing it as an opportunity for you to bring a lot more into your life and to actually make positive changes that would bring you a lot more happiness happiness and success in your relationships or whatever area of your life it applied to in your life going forward. So I feel like this is kind of the thing that's carrying on throughout this reading here, which is where I feel like you've really been working on yourself, but not really directly. Like it's like, um, so I'm, I'm getting this more in a relationship context and not necessarily romantic, like any kind of relationship context. But again, this is a general reading, so apply this to however it fits for you. But I'm just going to go with the kind of the relationship mindset, whether it's friendship or romantic or family, whatever it is. I'm going to go with that just because that's how I'm seeing it and I think it'll make the explanation a little bit easier. So whatever area of life this uh, applies to for you, go with that. But like, I'm going to explain it in terms of like one context so it's easier to follow what I'm getting. So it's like, you know, maybe you realize that you haven't been contributing in your relationships enough. And so you started doing that more. You started putting in more effort or putting in more action or maybe giving more gifts or like employing one of the love languages that maybe you realized you were not really giving to others. And so you're actually not necessarily working on yourself directly. You're actually working on a relationship. So I feel like you're working on something outside of yourself. Again, general. So it could be you're working on a project that is having you use skills that maybe you were you realized you had weaknesses in or weren't really as high level as they needed to be. So you're working on something that is outside of yourself, but in doing that, you're actually working on yourself. So if you're working on, you know, a weakness that you have on a project, you're actually strengthening yourself by helping somebody with this project. You're actually helping yourself as well by, you know, being more like contributing more to a relationship. You're actually learning a lot more about what you have to offer, what you have to give, the kind of confidence that you have, more of your capabilities, what you can really bring to a relationship. So you're helping somebody else, you're making somebody else feel better, but you're also working on yourself. You're also learning some things about yourself. And so I really feel like you're in this place where you are skyrocketing your success. You're doing something that, you know, isn't, you know, it's not extremely hard, but, but it is extremely effective. So what I want to say is like for the amount of effort you're having to put in, you are growing exponentially more, greater magnitudes more, and you're going to bring that much more success into your life. And no matter what area of your life you're working on this right now, I feel like the growth that you're having is going to play into your future and it's going to play into some other area of your life in a really big positive way. So whatever you're learning right now, I feel like is very, very important for your success in the future. So it's like if you're having to work on your relationships, with people and having to contribute more. You know, having to work on relationships with people, oftentimes when we have to make some changes, it requires us to have to swallow our pride a little bit, have to kind of deal with a bruised ego and have to move forward anyways with, you know, humil humility and maturity. And so I feel like, you know, that's a situation where if you're also trying to work on a business, you're learning those skills of swallowing your pride a little bit dealing with the bruised ego and having to be humble in a certain situation because, you know, maybe in the future, whenever you work with clients, that's going to be a quality that you really need in order to, you know, really help them, bring them on your side, gain an understanding with them, help them realize how much you really care about their success. There's going to be some kind of bleed over from what you're doing right now into bigger areas of your life in the future. So, this is all, like I was saying, very, very positive. It's like not always the, the easiest thing to deal with, but this is something that you can deal with. It's something that you are able to deal with. It is something that you are dealing with and it's going to be something that pays off dividends for you in the future. And I also feel like, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's hard or whether it's easy, whether it's big or whether it's small, I feel like regardless of what size or difficulty level it is, I feel like you are feeling very productive and, you know, you feel like you're really moving forward and I feel like you you have more control in your life 
right now than you have in a while. Like this is giving you more control in your life. So, you know, if you're helping somebody in a relationship or having to swallow your pride in a relationship, that's kind of a way of giving up control to somebody else. But I feel like even though you are doing that, sorry, I ran out of space. So even though you are in a way giving up more control in your relationship to somebody else, if this is an example of a relationship, I feel like you're actually getting more control for yourself as well. You feel like you have a lot more control. And I think that the reason for that is because, you know, in a relationship or on a project, whenever we're doing something that we have been uncomfortable doing before, and now we're having to do that, it puts us in a situation where we become more independent because now we're actually doing this new thing or we're actually having to become more comfortable doing something that we were uncomfortable doing before. And as we as we develop with that, as we grow with that, and as that starts becoming a part of our, our nature, we now become more capable. We now become more independent. We now have more to bring to the table. And so all of that makes us gives us more control over our lives and also over whatever scenario we're in because one, we're more independent and more capable so we're able to do a lot more which means we have a lot more hands-on control over whatever situations we're in, whatever similar relationships we have. It's now, we've now gained skills that are second nature to us that weren't there before. So we've up-leveled as a person, as a, like a, a person on this planet amongst other people or amongst other projects and that kind of thing. And then on top of that, we now have more to offer because we weren't offering this thing before. It's, you know, we have this realization that we weren't offering something or we weren't doing something or we were doing too much of something. And now we're a better version of ourselves. And so we bring more to the table than we did before. So I feel like even though, you know, you may be giving up control in some way by having to swallow your pride, I feel like in, in doing that and bettering the relationship, bettering yourself, bettering the project, whatever the situation is, you're actually you feel like you're a lot more in control than you have been ever, probably. And certainly than you have been in a long time. And that feels amazing. That feels good. That feels so positive. That makes you feel strong. And so I think that this is all very, very good, very positive. And, you know, definitely, definitely keep it up. And the guidance that I'm getting for you is, you know, you are having to swallow your pride, and I think that sometimes there can be a fear of, you know, if I give in, will I have to give in on these other things? If I give in, will people start taking advantage of me because they'll see me as a doormat because I don't have this big pride in front of me or I don't have my ego in front of me to protect me? And I feel like for you right now, you really shouldn't worry about that. I feel like you should give, you know, maybe more than you think is maybe more than you're used to. I feel like you basically you shouldn't worry about being taken advantage of at this point in time. I feel like you're gaining so much from this. I feel like this is all really, really positive for you. This is not the time to worry about whether someone's taking advantage of you or whether you're giving too much or whether you're putting yourself out there too much or, you know, whatever fears you may have with regards to this. Because, you know, part of why you may not have been doing this before, part, you know, you have this realization that wasn't very pretty, but part of why maybe you were the way you were before is a protection mechanism that you've put in place. Maybe you've been more selfish in relationships because people used to always take from you and so you've you've had to protect yourself in that way and you've had to start to think about yourself first and you know that's something that you learned and now you're in a situation where that that that's old baggage, that's old mentality, that's old energy that you no longer have to worry about. Now you need to be more giving in relationships. Or maybe you've gone to the extreme of selfishness and now you need to be more giving. So like things have taken a turn but you know you you were probably a certain way before because of something that happened to you or some kind of conditioning that you have. Like you weren't doing it to be mean, that's for sure. You definitely weren't doing it to be mean. You weren't trying to be more selfish. You weren't trying to be uncommitted. There was something there that no longer, there was like a, maybe a hurt that was there before that maybe you've forgotten about. Maybe you don't even know what caused that hurt. Maybe you don't even know that you have a hurt. You know, like it could just be something that's been there since childhood that you don't even know you never even knew it was a part of you, but it's been there in your actions. And now you're having to change those actions. And, you know, I think that the realization was really good for you because I think you understand that the actions need to change. Like, it wasn't really hard for you to understand that you needed to make this change. Like, I feel like you were like, oh, yeah. Like, it was an easy realization that you... It was easy to accept that, that was something about you that wasn't so great, I guess. So... 
you know, now is not really the time to protect yourself. That's the old story. I don't see that as what you need to be focusing on right now. So go ahead and give. Don't hesitate. Keep giving. Um, that's just where you're at right now, and that's what you need to be doing, and it's going to pay off dividends, like I've said before. And I think you know that. I think you know that you're in a safe place. You know, if you're trying to work on a weakness that you have, and it's at work, and it's on a project, I feel like you know that this is not, like, you working on this, you swallowing your pride or whatever, whatever the situation is for you, it's not going to bite you in the butt. And I feel like if this is relationship-oriented, you know that you're really going to help whoever is involved. Like, you care about this person, and you want the best for them, and you know that they've been unhappy, whatever your situation is, you know, and you know that you stepping up is really going to mean a lot to them. And, you know, so you know that you're in a safe place. So I think that, yeah, you're ready to give, to give more. And I think also just for you to know, and I, I guess we've kind of already covered this, but just I want to put it out there more clearly, I guess, because I want you guys to get all the messages that I get <laughs> so you can be successful. <clears throat> You giving more right now is only going to ingrain these new habits in you more permanently, more deeply, and it's going to be so it's going to be really second nature for you and the the more you can make these new habits a part of you, the more you can make them something that you do all the time without thinking, something that you always offer to others, the more you can do that and the more second nature it can be, the more like the more natural of a personality, like quality you make it become the more success you're going to have in the future. Like, I really feel like whatever you're working on right now is tied to your success in the future. So the better you are at it right now, the more you practice it right now, the more you make it a part of yourself right now, the better it is going to be for your future, the more successful you're going to be. So I feel like this is really, really important for you. So, you know, do good by the people in your life because, you know, this is relationship oriented. Like I was saying before, this will mean a lot to the people in your life. So do good by them. You're in a safe place. Go ahead and give to help them, also to help yourself because it's going to make you more of yourself and it's going to bring you so much more success, so much more success in the future and some other area of your life that's even bigger than what, you, what it has to deal with right now. So yeah, I hope this is helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know how it goes. Let me know how, how maybe you think this is going to apply in your future because this is really exciting stuff. So I hope I earned your like. I hope you're interested to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.